In the next couple of videos, we are going to take the basic syntax of PHP and break it down into creating output, variables, making decisions, and loops. However, in this video, I want to show you kind of a big picture. Where are we going to be at the end of this series of PHP videos? So in this video, we are going to create a database, put some content in it, and write some PHP that will load the content from the database into the web page. This is basically the primary reason why someone coding with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript would decide that they want to incorporate a server-side language is its ability to interact with the database. All right, so let's write some code. So I have installed a local server on my computer using MAMP. MAMP stands for Mac Apache MySQL PHP. However, this will also work if you want to upload your files to your hosting company. You will just have to log into your control panel and add your database there. So I have my server up and running. Here is my current local host. Right now it is empty, so I have nothing there. So let's walk through the creation of both a table, put some data in it, and then write some PHP to get that data into a web page. Let's start off by making a MySQL table to store different programming languages. So I'm on the create table page. I'm gonna create a cable called topics, and in here we'll put three columns. In this table, we will store an ID, of each programming language, the name, and a link to their homepage. Okay, the first column is ID. Now, we won't get too in depth with all these options here, so let's, for now, just keep it super simple. ID will be my primary key, and I'm gonna set it to auto increment, so that just means it'll automatically assign each record an ID, a name, this will be very variable character and 20 characters, probably plenty. And then the home page. we'll call this URL. That will also be a variable character. And let's give this one 100. All right, so we have our table created. Let's insert a couple records. So let's start with PHP and the home page of PHP is php.net All right, so we have four records in there. If I click browse, now you can see my records. Next, let's create a PHP file and get those records from that table onto our web page. So I'm gonna create a new file. We'll just call it topics.php. Let's start off by connecting to our database. There are many different options that PHP provides to connect to a MySQL database. I'm gonna use a series of functions called MySQLi. Stands for MySQL Improved. And in here, I just provide my host. So my host is localhost. If you are doing this using your hosting account, you may have to jump into your control panel and figure out what you will need to use as your host. My local username is root. My local password is also root. And the name of my database is sandbox. Then let's open up a standard HTML document. And there are three basic steps to getting content from your database onto your web page. The first is our connection, so that has been done. The second, we want to run an SQL command. So let's create a variable. We'll just call it query. 
and in here we are going to put a string SQL command. So let's just keep it basic. We'll go select everything from topics. So that is the name of our table. In a future video, we will break down SQL in a lot more detail, but for now, this is basically going to select everything from the table we just made called topics. Next, we want to ex execute that SQL statement. So I'm going to create a variable called result. And I'm going to run that query we just created against the connection variable, which we defined earlier. Now, assuming our code is working, inside our result variable should be four records. So we want to loop through them. This line will take our result, which in our case is four topics. It will fetch the next record, convert it to an associative array, and place that in the record variable. Then from there, just like we would with a normal array, we can output our content. So I'll start by just outputting a horizontal rule. Then we will make a heading. This heading will be our coding language name. And let's output a link. All right, so if I save that file, go back to my local host and refresh. There's the topics file I created. And there's a list of my topics. All right, so notice we have four records. So this code has been repeated four times. And for each record, we output an H2 using the topic name and a link using the topic URL. If I right click and hit view page source, you can see that the snippet of PHP from my document has been replaced with HTML. So in particular, that snippet of HTML would be one iteration of our while loop. So that is the basics behind loading content from a MySQL database and displaying it on a screen. It is really the concept that runs a, a massive portion of the internet. If you think of websites like Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, it's just content coming from a database, lists being displayed on a page. So over the next six or seven videos, our goal is to slowly get to a point where we're comfortable with this process. So at this point, don't panic if what we just covered was a lot of content. We're going to break that down into much steps, but this is the end goal.